If you haven't heard the news, it was announced yesterday that Frozen 2 is coming. We don't know when, sometime in the near future, but it's official. Yay! When you first heard this news, you were a bit skeptical. You're like, ugh. You probably said to yourself, it's too soon. We don't need another Frozen. I didn't even ask for this. The first one ended perfectly fine. And yes, while all that may be true, we're getting a Frozen 2 anyways. And so as I was thinking about this, I actually am really, really excited for Frozen 2. So I made this video to explain the top five reasons why you should be excited for Frozen 2. Reason number one, the original creative team is back. This is huge. Frozen 2 isn't just being handed off to some new people who are gonna take over the reins. We are getting the people who made this the phenomenon that it is. Specifically, we're getting the directors Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck back. We're also getting the producer Peter Delvecchio. That trio alone was really instrumental into making this franchise what it was. Now, on top of that, of course, we're gonna get the original voice actors back. Josh Gad was at the event. Kristen Bell tweeted a hilarious photo about it. Adina Menzel's been talking about Frozen 2 for months. While some of these haven't been official announced, we can't do Frozen 2 without them, so that's a lock. And also the songwriting team. Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez, they are really invested in Frozen right now. This has been probably the biggest hit of their careers. They've had lots before this, but arguably this is the biggest. They are now working on a Frozen musical and writing new songs for that. They just wrote a new song for Frozen Fever. This is their baby, and you better believe that they're coming back too. And since we're getting all these original people back together, you don't have to worry. Reason number two, this world is already established. If you know anything about the making of Frozen and how they were adapting Hans Christian Andersen's The Snow Queen story, this movie has been in development at Disney for years, for decades. They would start working on it, then they'd put it on the shelf. Then they'd take it off the shelf, they'd start working on a different version of it, and then they'd put it back on the shelf. But this time around, we don't have to worry about any of that. The world, the stories, the characters, the designs, the tone, all that has been established, and so they can use that as a starting point, as a launch pad, and then write a new story from there. Reason number three, back to Arendelle. This is really important. The Nordic world of Frozen has taken the world by storm. People are in love with this place, with the mountains, and the forests and the fjords and the lakes and the rivers and the palace. It's beautiful. And John Lasseter actually mentioned this himself. He said, we enjoyed making Frozen Fever so much and being back in the world with those characters. Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck have come up with a great idea for a sequel and you'll be hearing a lot more about it. And we're taking you back to Arendelle. So we're not going somewhere new. We're going back to the place that we love, the place that really made Frozen so iconic and so memorable. We're going back. Don't worry, your favorite kingdom is here to stay. Reason number Number four, more Elsa. The first Frozen movie focused a lot on Anna and her journey. Yes, we did get to see quite a bit of Elsa, but many people felt that she wasn't as developed as they would have liked. We didn't get to see as many scenes of her. Now, Elsa has taken the world by storm. There are mini Elsas everywhere. If you go to Disney parks, I can assure you, you're gonna see a lot more mini Elsas than mini Annas. Everybody loves Elsa. And for that reason, I think this is a really great opportunity for Frozen 2 to focus on her. We got a lot of Anna in the first movie, but now let's shift our attention and focus on the queen, Elsa. And reason number five, more songs. I kind of touched on this in reason number one, but one of the most compelling and distinctive things about Disney animated classics and especially Frozen, is the music, the songs. Frozen's music is a phenomenon. It broke all records. People still, almost two years later, are still singing Let It Go. Let it go, let it go. Sorry, couldn't help myself. So I can only imagine what sort of new songs Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez are gonna concoct. Will we have another Let It Go on our hands? I don't know. Do I hope so? Absolutely yes. But either way, I'm really looking forward to new songs. And a bonus reason, this ain't your mama's 90s sequel. Do you remember the Disney sequels in the 90s that went straight to video? Aladdin 2, Pocahontas 2, Hunchback of Notre Dame 2. I'll just stop there. They weren't good. And I think for that reason, people sort of have this ugh when they think of the word sequels. But don't worry, Disney doesn't do that anymore. If they're putting out a sequel, especially one theatrically, it's gonna be good. They are gonna put just amount as much effort into this than they did the original if not more. As you can tell, the expectations for Frozen 2 are incredibly high. The bar is way, 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 way up here. And that's why some people are initially a little bit nervous. But you remember Toy Story? Toy Story was incredible. Everybody loves Toy Story. And then Toy Story 2 came along, which happened to be better than Toy Story. And I think for these five reasons, if they get everything right, Frozen 2 could be better than Frozen. So let me know in the comments, what is the thing that you are most excited about for Frozen 2? All right, guys, that's all I have. Be sure to like, like, comment, and subscribe 
We are back on the Frozen Fever train. We might be doing some more Frozen Friday videos. I know, we don't even have a release date for this movie, but we are still excited, and we want you to be excited and join us on this journey, too. Until next time, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.